Do you want to save time and create a smoother customer journey by taking online pre-orders? Res Diaries pre-order tools will help you create dishes, guest options, and compile them into a menu. This tutorial will show you how. To create a new menu item from your diary, click Promote, and from the pre-order section, click Menu Items. If this is the first time you're creating a menu item, the diary will ask you to add categories to help you organize your items. Add a category and click Close. You will be able to edit your categories by clicking the More tab and Edit. Click Add Menu Item to bring up the menu item settings. You can select which category this item will be stored under. You will then be able to name this item, attach a price and add a description. You then have the option to add a modifier like cooking preference or added extras and dietary markers. You can get more information about this in the Creating Dietary Markers and Order Modifiers film attached in the descriptor. Once you're happy with your changes, click Save. Each menu item will appear as a card under its Categories tab. In the top right of each card, there is icons for Edit, Copy and Delete. To create a new menu, from your diary, click Promote and from the Pre-order section, click Menus. This will bring up the Menus menu. There are two tabs at the top. If your venue is part of a group, you will be able to access any menus shared with you here. You can also use categories here. Click the plus disk to add a new category and give it a name in the text box. You will be able to edit or delete the category with the icons to its right. To add a new menu, click Create Menu. This will bring up the menu settings. Give the menu a name, assign it to a category and add a cutoff time. The cutoff time stops pre-orders from being submitted a set time ahead of the booking. This is useful for menus with products that need to be ordered in advance. Once you're happy, click Create New Menu. The menu will now appear in the section it was added to. You will be able to enable or disable the menu here. See its name, edit the menu, make a copy, share it with other venues in your group, make changes to the menu settings, and delete the menu. Click the Edit Menu icon to bring up your menu builder. In the top right, there is a cog icon. Click here to select the menu type, like an a la carte or set menu. You will be able to add additional price fields for a set menu where you can choose the number of courses you have. To customize the menu's image, click the Add Logo box and upload an image to use at the top of your menu. You can then give your menu a title and add a description. Remember that this is customer facing, so consider carefully what you include here. For set menus, you will be able to include a price below. You are now able to add categories to your menu. Click the Add New Category icon. You must give your category a name and you also have the option of adding a description. Again, this is customer facing, so consider what you put here. On the right, there are options to format the category in a single or double column and an icon to delete the category. Click the Add Item button and you can now add a menu item. Type in the name of a previously created menu item and the field will autofill the price and description. You will then be able to add modifiers and dietary markers by clicking the arrow and selecting the option. Any changes made to your menu items here will not affect the information saved in your menu items database. If you want to offer a choice of menu items in this category, continue to add items. You'll be able to change the order or delete items with the controls in the top right of each item. You can now continue to add categories and menu items until your menu is complete. Once finished, scroll to the top of the page and click the Save button and you will return to the Menus menu. By clicking on the View Read Only menu icon, you will be able to check how the menu will appear to your guests. For more details on the practicalities of using this menu, watch the Booking a Pre-order film. If you have any issues or have any questions, you can find more information about menus on the Knowledge Base or get support anytime by raising a ticket.